Well, to get to the Brisbane truck show, I'm going to catch a train. So um, we're at the train station, going to park the truck up here and go across. Good morning, my name's Paul Munro. I work with Volvo Group Australia as a driver development position. Today we're going to look at the FH and the colour scheme of the FH is to highlight the air resistance of the um, the improvements of the, the cabin to lessen um, air resistance which will help increase the fuel efficiency of the vehicle. In the FH we can have a 16 litre engine that can be rated from 700 down to 600 and there are other ratings now. This particular chassis now in the FH is a 550 in a 16 litre engine. We can also fit the 13 litre engines that are 535 down to 500 horsepower. Inside we have safety features, we have adaptive cruise control, we have uh, lane keep support, we have driver alert system that are there to help for the driver when he becomes inattentive or fatigued. So there, there's a lot of safety features that have been fitted into the Volvos now that are about the driver safety as well as as passive uh, safety features that look at reducing the impact of having uh, incidents with third parties, not just with our driver, but we're concentrating on safety features that will help lessen the risk of being involved in incidents with third parties, pedestrians or cars. We're looking at the Max Superliner now with a 70 inch bunk on it, 685 horsepower Superliner that has uh, just been released in Australia. So, and it is specific now for, for drivers to live in. There's lots of storage space in it. It has a microwave. This particular sleep has a microwave, a refrigerator, and quite a comfortable bed. It's a 685 horsepower with a 14 speed gearbox. It's with very two low ratios for extreme conditions of heavy haulage. Okay. In the cabin, now the drivers are able to stand up straight out of the driver's seat because the headroom is over six foot five uh, inches tall so you can stand straight up out of the driver's seat to access the sleeping quarters. It's not just a sleeper, it is actually a quarters where there is lots of storage space. There's a refrigerator, a microwave and a TV in this particular sleeper that has to be specced to that level. It also has the safety features of adaptive cruise control as well as the lane keep support driver alert systems in there. So there's a lot of uh, safety features that are available to help with keep the driver alert in these systems. So here we've got the Intellistart, IS2000, IS3000 and IS5000. Our jump starters are the only ones in the market that you're able to jump start the vehicle and rapid recharge using the alternator power. So what that means is theoretically you can go around the car park and jump one truck after another without having to put it back on the dock and recharge it. Leave it on for 40 seconds after jump start and that will recharge back to the state of charge used prior to the jump start.
very, very top. G'day, I'm Simon Smith from Australian Truck Radio. That's what we do around Australia, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. National radio for the Australian trucking industry. One of the biggest niche markets in Australian radio is truckies, and 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's exactly what we do around Australia. Download the app today and you can listen live 24 seven across Australia, australiantruckradio.com.au. Ben Kittle from H Drive. This is our TS50 model of truck brought to you by H Drive. We're here in the Brisbane Truck Show here today. This vehicle here has been built for Australian conditions. It goes into service in two months. It uh, can take a payload of 50 tonnes and it's ready to go on the roads today. Our vehicles are good for 500 kilometres in service. Okay, there's a fuel cell electric vehicle. So at the end of the day, it's powered by electricity and the drivetrain. The fuel cell is providing power for the batteries. Okay, so it's new technology here today. Yeah. 